this is Jai and Japan Story and welcome back to my channel! So ayun na nga, maraming nagsasuggest sa akin na gawin ko raw ito kung kaya't gusto ko kayong pagbigyan. Because for today, I'm gonna do a house tour or should I say a mansion tour. <laughs> And first up is our main door. This main door is an auto lock system which goes with an intercom right here so that you can call someone upstairs if you don't have the key. And of course, we got here our mailboxes. You can see them all over Japan. Now, let's go inside. one of my most favorite areas around this building because I sometimes come down here to chill, relax, and do exercise sometimes. And as you can see, we have stairs all the way up. That is for emergency purposes. Or if you don't want to take the elevator, then you can take the stairs. <music> We have here a small storage for our garbages. Now let's go on to the next door. Come on. And this right here will lead you to our. This is another parking space inside the building which we don't usually use because we don't have a car. But we sometimes come down here for pictorials like this. And now, it's time to go upstairs! Hi Vogue! Vogue Etches Line! <laughs> Come on in! Welcome to our mansion! Here we put all the shoes and sleepers upon entering the house. And in this area, we got the shoe storage or gitabako in Japanese. Upon entering the house, they usually fix their sleepers and shoes facing the door so that it won't cause too much trouble. So the first door is the biggest among all rooms inside this house. And this is CJ's room, my housemate. And luckily we cannot get in because she's not right here right now so I am really really sorry. Well anyways her room is a western style room which means yushetsu in Japanese. And this right here is what they call the Japanese style room or the so-called tatami room. Every house in Japan has this traditional room and this one right here is what they call the tatami flooring. If this is new, you can really smell the grass-like odor which is so refreshing and seems like you are in a farm but if it gets old, maybe one year or two years, the smell will change and it will be so disgusting. I am so sorry to tell you that. <laughs> Every tatami room has this kind of window style. This window style is what they call shoji. This is not a cloth, but this is a special paper in Japan and they call it washi. Washi is a Japanese paper which is very thin compared to foreign paper. So don't use too much force on it because it's very delicate. Moving on, we still have five more doors to open in this mansion. Okay? Let's now go to this door. <laughs> Small compartments for tissue papers, of course, napkins, and we have here different buttons for your bidet, for your love, and you can also control the water strength or the water level. And here, 
it's clean guys no need to worry so in this area it also has like a warmer so if it's winter there's no need for you to worry kay muinit na sa imuhang love okay Okay, so now let's move on to the fourth room in this house. So the next room that I'm going to show you, it has three functions. Let's see what's inside. ta -da! Welcome to our washroom. You can see I've got a lot of cosmetic products here, and these are CJs. For the sink, you can always control the temperature, whether you want cold water or you want hot water. And this right here is our small compartment for toiletries as well. And, of course, hair dryer. I can't leave without it. Sure. You don't have to bring this washing machine outside to wash your clothes. Actually, walk out on <laughs> All right, if you're gonna drain it, the water will gonna go through that pipe here and go down there. I don't know, there's a sinkhole, I think. Yeah. This is our shower room with the bath dog. You can always control the water temperature right here. Honestly, we don't usually use this bathtub because we're saving water consumption. <laughs> you can close this. For privacy and open it again and I want to show you something this button right here controls the airflow inside the shower room can you hear that sound so when you turn on the button you can get enough air to dry your clothes here to dry the area because after taking a bath usually the shower room gets really wet how amazing is that so that is about for the fourth room. Now let's go on to the next room. Now on to our fifth door. Welcome to our kitchen. You can see we have our small tables here for the rice cookers, our burner, exhaust fan, sink, and the cabinets. We keep all our cleaning materials here, especially the garbage bags, knives, and everything. These are CJ's. This is mine. I kept all of my spices here and cooking ingredients, baking ingredients, and everything. I really love this sink right over here because it's very clean and it goes with the sensing light over here. It goes on without pushing any button and off. We've got two refrigerators here, but we're not using both of them. We're only using this one because, you know, electricity bills. So we use this as our stock room for plastics, plastic bags for shopping and everything. So messy, so sorry. This is our microwave, oven toaster. We use this sometimes for baking here because we love eating and baking and cooking. And I got this three jars for coffee, sugar, and salt from Daiso. They're so cute and I really love it. And this door right here will lead you to our... This is our balcony. We usually use this area to dry our clothes since we don't have laundry dryer inside. And I want to show you something. Are you seeing this right now? These aren't just normal boxes. <laughs> we decided to use these as our garbage bins because we don't know for how long are we gonna stay here. Because aside from it's pricey, it's also hassle. You know. Connected to this kitchen is our sixth room. Actually, this room is a living room slash dining room, but marami talagang ganap dito. Sometimes, dito kami nag-yoga, nag-exercise, pictorials, and even I do my online lessons here because, you know, it's pandemic. So, I most of my jobs are online lessons, so yeah. These are my stuff for working. And this right here is not a telephone, but rather an intercom phone. Hello, this is room 303 and then we're gonna press buttons here to open the main door outside. This right here is our fragrance area. We got dried wood, 
And I made this one from last year. These are autumn leaves. And now for the finale. <laughs> for the final room, we will gonna go to my bedroom. Welcome to my room. I love this bed because it's very soft and very warm, especially in winter season. I also got live plants for my room because they said it will generate fresh air inside. I don't know if it's true or not. Then this rattan cabinet right here, this was from my previous neighborhood in front of Ashi Houghton. They give this for me for free, which I really love, so I brought this one here. Another live plant. Actually, this is a bonsai. Yes, and this cabinet right here for my bags. Alam niyo naman kung gaano ako ka addicted sa mga bags. So, I got these small cabinets for them. And this right here is my mini drawer where I put all my jewelry and blinks. And many items. I've got here many library for my books. Some of these are Japanese books which I didn't read because my books are troublesome. I still have here my paper bags for the clothing I bought weeks ago and I still haven't touched them yet because it will have their turn later on. And as you can see, I have here all of my coats. Actually, this place right here is originally a window, but since it's winter season and I don't have a big room to put all of these coats, so I decided to make this area as my temporary closet for my coat. And I hope it won't fall off. And of course, my small cabinet. those are the rooms inside our house and lastly I want to remind you guys that if you are living here in Japan you are not allowed to make excessive noise loud noise like loud music or whatsoever because for sure your neighborhood will gonna complain about it so if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos see you next time bye